magic guarantee. Can you feel it? Can you feel Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. Our next conversation is about Neela Massey Credit Union, nominations and 2024 initiatives. Joining us in studio is Mr. Ladderson, the Chief Executive Officer of the Neela Massey Credit Union. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am fine. It's a pleasure to have you with us on the show this morning. Thank you, precious man, also. Excellent, and thanks for taking the time out, because one can only assume how busy you are. Now, let's talk a little bit about your background and your role at the credit union, particularly. How did you get to this point to sit with us this morning as CEO? Oh, my background for the greater part of my career, I was in banking. Mm -hmm. And I left banking, and I ventured out into what I call the wider world. I worked in manufacturing. I headed up a manufacturing firm. I worked in retail all while lecturing and running a consulting firm. Wow. But you know, I, I miss the <clears throat> I miss the drive and the energy of the financial sector. Mm -hmm. So I decided to re-enter the financial sector. But this time I wanted to, to really be able to contribute and leave a legacy, leave a mark, bring all the knowledge I would have learned in banking into a sector that really reaches down. And that's why I ended up in the credit union sector. Oh, excellent. And that's why you're here with us this morning. Correct. So thank you so much. Now let's talk about now you stand as CEO of the Neela Massey Credit Union. And one of the things, of course, is this nomination notice, which many times we see being spoken of, but we don't really have details about. So let's speak about what the nomination notice is yeah. and also the significance for members particularly. Oh, definitely. So the nomination notice, its that's the precursor to the AGM. Every year, Nina Massey Credit Union, along with other credit unions, they howl a nomination event. The nomination event is really to select persons, members, um, to be on the credit committee, supervisory committee, board, and whatever other committees that are sanctioned by the credit union. Now, it's really critical that we go out there and we have this nomination process because as a credit union, we, our members, the people who, who save and who borrow by us, they are also part owners and we want them to have a say and, and that's how it is structured. Mm -hmm. So that's where the nomination plays a role. This is their chance to, to be proposed, nominated into a position. Okay, interesting. And so member member involvement is, is important. It, it, it is critical, you know. You, as a, once you save in a credit union, you're mm -hmm. actually a shareholder. So every shareholder, every member is a shareholder. Unlike other institutions, every member is a shareholder. And if you're a shareholder, you have a say in how everything runs. And, and part of that having a say means that you can propose a friend or yourself mm -hmm. to go up to be on the board or any other committee. Oh, yeah. interesting there. So definitely offering that space for any and everybody to be a part of representation. Yeah, it is, it is. Hmm. And, okay, so just a quick question, of course, in your experience as well. So how many people do you see going up as being nominated? in the credit union? Uh, typically, it could range from mid-20s to over 40 people actually placing their name. Wow. Yeah, which is really, it is really good because we want as many people as possible mm -hmm. to present themselves. If, if only a small pool goes up or the same pool, then we don't have diversity of thought. Right. And what we really want to have is diversity of thought. We want to be able to reach all our members. Yeah. And well, I mean, no doubt you will, because as you mentioned that with the diversity of thought, but also anybody can be nominated. It really shows as well that you are molding diverse oh. leadership. Yes, Which we are. is something that is so important. Yes. We want to have the opinions of the youth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we want to have the knowledge and experience of the older folks. And so we get to do it every year through nominations. Absolutely wonderful. This is a great conversation this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, now let's talk about products and services. Yes. The first thing when we hear credit union, we think about a loan. Yes. But there is so much more to the credit oh, union man. that's offered. Share with us. Yeah. So a credit union is much more than lending. When you're in a credit union, you are really part of a community. So we, because you are part of this whole community, we provide additional services. Um, let's start with, we do financial planning seminars. We even do debt management seminars. We do um, estate um, management. We, we guide, give people guidance on pension planning. So there's a whole suite of services. Apart from that, we have, we have awards and recognition ceremonies, for example, Every October, we do an award for um, for the education. Um, it's, it's done by the Education Committee, sorry. And it basically awards members who hit a certain criteria. Mm -hmm. So, and we do it for SEA results, for CSEC, for CAPE, for tertiary studies, 
and it, it, it's all part of being a member of a community. Mm -hmm. So it's not just you come here, you borrow, you leave. No, one of the other things that within a credit union, with Nina Massey Credit Union, in most institutions, if you borrow, mm -hmm. let's say you borrow for five years, at the end of those five years, you pay the loan, you're happy with us. At the end of those five years, you would have had a savings building on the side, right. which would be money going towards your share. So part of the money comes in, goes into your loan, and another part goes towards your shares. So at the end of that period, you actually have money saved alongside what you were borrowing. And, and as, your, as your debt comes down, mm -hmm. your savings goes up. Excellent. Yeah. Definitely something that everybody should be invested in. We and should be, we <laughs> should be. And as you mentioned, investing, there are investment options as well, correct? So we have, so basically we carry shares and deposits, so mm -hmm. the investment option is really shares. Mm -hmm. However, we, we do pay a dividend every year, and it varies based on the performance of the economy, but there are dividends paid every year. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. So, I mean, you share with us, you have a breadth of seminars which are available. Now, these are just available to members or to the general public? Some seminars are for members and some are open to the general public. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition to that, we also do go out and yeah. connect with the general public, not just our membership. We go out, we, we go out um, if um, a member said, hey, my company, we have some persons there, they would like to know about your products or they would like to know to save better, how to even save to purchase a home. Yeah. We come out, we send out a team that will talk to them and we're not talking to you because you're a member, we're talking to you because you reached out to us. Yeah. yeah. Now excellent, as you mentioned membership, you know, one of the things that many do for their family members as gifts as well as they open accounts for children, yes. is that something that's also an option in your accounting sphere? Oh, it, it's, it's one of the key options. Mm -hmm. um, so what you find a lot of the young, our younger members actually would have came in through their parents mm -hmm. and they would have saved or have their parents saving on the side for them, which is something we astutely encourage. Mm -hmm. And at a certain age, they've been a member for so many years, they now convert from their savings to now looking to buy that first car, mm -hmm. eventually buy that first home. Yes. Uh, I myself is a product of credit union loans from my parents. <laughs> Excellent. Is That's it, my education. Is, and it's something that is so beautiful yeah. for so many because it's building that community as well and laying that foundation for the youth. Now, I know the youth love things that are digital. Yes. So do you have that digital banking option? Oh, we do have that. I'm glad you asked that. We do have um, internet banking. Mm -hmm. Our members can go online on either their mobile device Mm -hmm. or through a browser and they can pull up their account they can do they can effect transfers to and from their account they can even apply for loans online uh, yeah they can apply for <laughs> loans they could in fact on our portal Nina and Massey see you that co-op mm -hmm. they could go and pick up pick their date pick which loans officer they would like to go to and apply that's wonderful everything is served on a platter. I absolutely love that this is a great conversation this morning now something else we would love some clarity on is this term AGM the annual general meeting we always hear about it we see notices in the newspapers but what exactly is the purpose of this Mr. Oh, Ledgerson that's a nice question the AGM the AGM is when all members get to really connect with us they get to come and hear from us how we manage their money, mm -hmm. because everything we do is for the members and by the members. So at the AGM, we represent the financial report for the past year. We also um, do elections. So it's a build up from the nomination process where people actually come out and vote for who they would like to be the president next year. Okay. Who they would like elected to the credit committee, the supervisory committee, the education committee, all of these committees, all of these activities are done through the AGM. But the DHM is really a really critical communication tool. Mm -hmm. um, it tells what we did in the past year and also communicates what we are going to do. We also look for feedback from the members so there's also open forums where members can raise questions um, make any point of concern they get to connect with each and every one of us from myself to the board and the president members could come and connect with us directly you know that they cannot do it normally mm -hmm. but this time we're all in one location this is so beautiful again just bringing home the theme of course of credit unions being community and basically being family as well that's yes. really real about it yes. now aside from as you mentioned with the AGM you know you have this open forum and so much more if I'm not mistaken there's also the option of um, key decisions being made yes have the option to vote can you expound on that yeah so let's start with if there's a change in bylaw so the, mm -hmm. the credit union is run by a set of bylaws that's preset and whenever we want to make a change it could be something as simple as saying we want to put our bylaw stating that nobody can have more than three individual loans. Mm -hmm. This is a community decision because 
these are community funds. So those things will be presented at the AGM. So it, it's from every critical policy decision emanates from a bylaw, and a bylaw have to be voted in by the membership. Okay, yeah. excellent. So, I mean, by all means, and um, we want everybody to come out to these AGMs, correct? Oh yes, we do. We do. And you know what? We we usually have it in nice locations. We provide breakfast. Wonderful. And we <laughs> we provide snacks in between. We provide lunch. We do everything to ensure that our members come out. It doesn't end there. We also give every member a token, okay. a token of appreciation. Oh. And, and you're going to love the token we have this year. I'm not going to I'm not going to sell it out right now to encourage people to come and find out what it is. But everybody that comes, get a token. That's absolutely excellent. Now, is there an age limit? Because, I mean, we know that there are younger members of the AGM as well. So is there an age limit as to who can attend? Oh, no, there are no age limits. So it's open to every member. Mm -hmm. Once you are a member, and uh, you can be a member, if I'm correct, from one year, once you are mm -hmm. a member, you can attend the AGM. And because credit unions are family events, you find there are families that come. <coughs> you see the parents and their children with mm -hmm. them and they are all members. It's definitely a family affair, it to is, say the it least. It is, it is, Now, what about the structuring of the future? Is the future something that's discussed at the AGM as well as where you may see the credit union? Yes, yes. Or no? yeah. So, you know what? In discussing what took place, we discuss what our outlook is, what, mm -hmm. are, what, what new ventures we, we're planning. And so, um, we also discuss the outlook mm -hmm. of the economy and the impact it will have on us. So as you know, we are in the Massey Credit Union, so we would have been formed by persons who are now part of the Massey Group, mm -hmm. right? We're not part of the Massey Group, but we were formed by like-minded persons who decided to pool their money. So even those things we will discuss was the outlook for the bulk of our membership. Mm -hmm. But those things are raised at the Credit Union and at the AGM. Excellent. Now let's talk a little bit about the future direction of the credit union mm -hmm. itself. Um, where do you see the future of the credit union? Or what is already in writing, should we perhaps say that? The future is all digital. It's digital. Okay. Um, we have adopted a, a member, a very member-centric approach mm -hmm. since I've come in. That's what we've been going after. We are looking at the ease of doing business for our members. We want people to be able to reach us and connect with us no matter where they are. Mm -hmm. So I would have mentioned how you can go online and do all of the applications. That's one of the critical things, but we also have some some digital some digital transactions on the on the horizon for our members. Uh, where we'll be looking to introduce digital wallets. Yeah, I think to improve the ease of doing business. As it is right now, a member can literally go online and and do a transfer from the credit union mm -hmm. to their bank account. Okay. Uh, and vice versa. That's great. Yeah. So we are going to be building on that where we bring um, the ability to spend and save even closer to our membership. Mm -hmm. That's something that is so excellent as well, especially going across institution, which for many is very important as well. Are there any upcoming initiatives that we should know about? For oh, yes, we, have, we do have a financial planning seminar that is due later this month. Okay. And that, that financial planning seminar will tackle issues such as um, debt consolidation, debt reduction, we're providing um, credit management strategies for mm -hmm. the individual and for the household. As you know, we, we Trinidad came out of um, this era, the pandemic, like two years now. And there are still people that are still settling back in. There are people who have acquired debts during that period because they were unemployed or their funds were a bit low. Yeah. So we're providing strategies to show people how to maneuver, how to come out of it. What can they do? Is their debt consolidation available for them? Do they have equity in their house that they could borrow some money to cover their debts? Maybe they have that really large credit card debt. Mm -hmm. So all of those things will be covered in the upcoming financial planning seminar. Absolutely excellent. Well, Mr. Lodgerson, thank you so much for your time oh, and welcome. for sharing with us what's going to be taking place at the AGM and so much more. Do you have any closing comments for not just Trinidad and Tobago, but for your members as well and those who are potential members, let's say? Oh, yes. Um, I'm looking for each and every one of you all to throw your hat in the ring, you know. Consider coming and volunteering to be part of this great institution, volunteering to be part of the board and part of the committees. What we do is for everyone, and I would like everyone to consider themselves being equally strong enough to come in. It doesn't matter what's your position in life, because the credit union is for the people, by the people. Definitely for the people, by the people. Can you just remind people how they can get involved and be there at that AGM? Oh, definitely. So from nomination, you can go online and on, on, at Neil and Massey, cu co -op, and download a membership form. And when you download that membership form, you have to fill it out. There are some criteria you have to satisfy. One of it is being fit and proper, meaning that you 
make a contribution of at least four shares, twenty dollars per month, um, over a twelve month period preceding your nomination. There's a nomination box um, where you can um, you can get an envelope when you enter the credit union. The envelope you, you would state what position you're applying for, which is it board or committee position. You place that envelope into a lockbox, a designated lockbox that's wide and open. Now this closes at, if I recall correctly, 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. on Friday, April the 5th. So I need everybody to come down there and I'm really come to toss your hat in the ring. Definitely. And can you just remind us of the website, please? Sure. It's Neil and Massey, C-U dot Coop, N-E-A-L, a N D M A S S Y C U dot C double O P. And I want to stress dot C double O P, not dot <laughs> com. <laughs> uh, you know, it, and it's not coop, by the way. I hear people say coop. Yeah, coop. It's co op. <laughs> it's not coop. <laughs> Definitely. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Lodgerson. It's been oh, an absolute welcome. pleasure. And have an excellent day. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Mr. Lagerson, CEO of Neil Massey Credit Union, right here this morning, sharing with us some 2024 initiatives from the credit union, nominations, and a little bit more. Stay tuned. There's more coming up right after this break. <laughs>